Hey everybody, it's me Arlene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to share with you guys some recent perfume pickups. This comes from a niche house. Their prices are absolutely amazing. Probably one of the best houses for pricing, you guys. A 50 mil for 45 euros. These two I have talked about on my channel already but I also have some sample from the same house of course and um, and I'll let you guys know what I think of these so the two bottles that I picked up are from the house of Teodoros Calotinis and the first one here is coffee addict this one is probably the most popular from the house I would guess it's an eau de parfum 50 ml and as I said earlier only 45 euros and the other one that I picked up is called Vanilla and it's also an eau de parfum and 50 ml as well. They do have a more expensive line collection. I think they're 150 for I believe 50 mils, but these ones are only 45 euros. You know, it just blows my mind how good these are and then, you know, the value that you get for these and they're so loud and beast mode. It lasts all day and it's just crazy so <laughs> uh, here's what the bottle the boxes look like sorry very simple minimalistic kind of um, design it just says the name of the perfume on top there oh, you guys for you guys out there who are also gourmand lovers please please do try to get your nose on these ones um, sampling of course but if you're in a blind buying mood and you like gourmands, then you might want to check these out. <laughs> wow. Coffee addict. Realistic. Fresh brewed coffee. It reminds me of Copico candies. And I love those. And some sweet coffee with milk and a lot of sugar. I think there's like caramel or toffee in the notes here. Only four notes listed, coffee, caramel, vanilla, and cacao pod. And you definitely smell all of that. It also reminds me of French vanilla coffee from Tim Hortons. It feels like I, or when I wear this, it smells like I spilled coffee on myself. And I'm specifically thinking of the Tim Hortons French vanilla coffee. So, so good. The other one that I just had to have is here, Vanilla. And Vanilla, I have reviewed recently. And this one was my best niche discovery for the last month. And Vanilla to me has a very delicious vanilla flavored patchouli. The patchouli is strong, you guys especially in the opening, but as it dries, it does take a back seat to the very delicious cookie, vanilla, shortbread, Christmas cookie kind of thing. So very sweet, very strong, potent. And if you're looking for fragrances that perform really well, then these are definitely ones to give a try. Now I do want to try these ones out. I have worn them just once. So it's just basically my first impressions. The first one is I am beautiful and the other one is Asian Aegean. I'm not sure how to say that. Salt and citrus. These are the two that uh, piqued my interest um, the most out of all the other ones. I know that some of you have already recommended some other fragrances from this house. Um, I think Alluring Fig was a fave from a few of you and Jasmine of Athens and I can't remember what the other one is maybe it was I don't know Plumeria I don't know <laughs> so I guess eventually I'll get my nose on those ones but the first one here is I am beautiful and the message with this scent here is that actually I'm gonna pull it up here I don't want to give you wrong information <laughs> the message here I'm going to read it, just read a little uh, quote here. Looking for the lost natural beauty of women and observing the international fashion trends based on a female model with the dimensions of 
a plastic doll, I wanted to urge women to value their natural beauty by emphasizing her flaws through the perfume, I am beautiful. Every curve, every pound, every wrinkle has its own charm. You are much more than a body. Wear your perfume, look in the mirror and say to yourself, I'm beautiful. That's what it says. So this perfume is supposed to bring out your confidence as a woman, your body, your curves. And I just love that message for sure. Um, this one here has notes of cranberry, patchouli, rose, and amber. So I was mostly rec um, interested in this because of the patchouli notes. I love the patchouli notes in vanilla, and I do smell the patchouli note here as well very strongly, along with a very juicy cranberry. And cranberry is a note that I don't see very often in fragrances. The one cranberry scent that I own that I love, and it was actually a gift from one of you guys, a viewer, thank you so much again. It's uh, Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. It smells like a cranberry cocktail. So this one here, you do get a juicy, ripe cranberry juice. The patchouli note, you guys, is very strong in this one though. Uh, actually on my skin, the patchouli note is loud <laughs> it is front and center and then as it dries down it feels like this patchouli note is getting bigger and bigger on me so if you're not a fan of patchouli um, i'm not sure if this one would be for you of course you can test it out to see how it goes but it's absolutely gorgeous i think that um, all of these perfumes are unisex but for this one in particular, it does lean slightly to the masculine side for me. Maybe because of that heavy, dark patchouli note. But yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, mostly a patchouli cranberry scent. Uh, maybe some musk in there as well as it dries down. But yeah, if you like patchouli and fruit notes, it's like... A really nice fruit truly scent that is different from other ones that I've tried. So that's I Am Beautiful. The other one here, Aegean Salt and Citrus. Now this one here I wanted to try because I am in love with citrus notes. I like to wear citrus not only in the summer but also in the winter time. And this one here I love it, you guys. This is a sparkling aquatic scent. I'm just going to pull up the notes here quickly. Okay. All right, so the notes in the top, well, there's only one note, grapefruit. The middle note is lemon and the base note is salt. And basically what I'm thinking here is I'm on a boat in the Mediterranean and the sun is beating down and you get a little bit of a sea breeze coming in. And I'm sprinkling lemon and maybe some lime juice into a nice fizzy glass of 7-Up. <laughs> and there's some ice cubes in there too. So. For me, this is a very fizzy scent. It comes off very sparkling and bubbly. Happy, bright, aquatic. It smells like the sea and it smells like 7-Up to me for some reason. Or it actually just reminds me of that, that vision of sipping some cold 7-Up with some lemon and lime in there too. And enjoying the beautiful summer in the Mediterranean. Yeah, I think it's great for year-round for a beautiful citrus aquatic marine scent with some salt as well. So yeah, those were my quick thoughts on perfumes from Teodoros Calotinis. If you've tried these ones, I'd love to hear your opinions on them. Also, if you could recommend uh, which is your favorite or a few favorites from the house, I would love to hear about that. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.